Hello friends. In this video, I am going to take up problems in which sum of two numbers, difference and product of two numbers. These three quantities are involved. If you are given any two of them, you can find the third one. Now traditional method, obviously either it will be based on uh, linear equations in two variables or quadratic equations. But let me tell you, without even using the two concepts which I just told you, you can find the sum if difference in product is given, difference if sum and product is given, product if sum and difference is given. I am talking of two natural numbers. Very very common concept in uh, quantitative aptitude uh, portion of the competitive exams like banking, railways, SSCC, GL, NTSC and all others you know. And if you are aware of shortcuts then uh, the problem is uh, going to consume just say 10 seconds time and if you are not aware then you will be busy framing equations and representing the given situation in the form of either a linear equation or a quadratic equation. So let's see how these shortcuts help us to find the required thing if two of the variables are given. Now in the first case I am taking the sum of the numbers like if the question is the sum of two numbers is 34 and their difference is 8 find their product. So what are you going to do in this such, in this case? Most of the students you know they will assume the numbers to be x and y and they, then they will write sum means x plus y equal to 34 and difference means x minus y equal to 8 then they will find x and y and accordingly they will multiply them to get the product. That is the traditional method but here is the shortcut which I have written here. You can find the product if sum and difference is given to you just add the sum and difference and then subtract the sum and difference just multiply them and divide it by 4 that's it you get the product of the numbers. Try to find a logic because these are all derived relationships which have been uh, you know named as shortcuts but actually actually they are just based on um, you know some steps which are skipped from the traditional method and thereby giving you a shortcut. So let's see how we can utilize the knowledge of this shortcut to find the product. See I have already told you if the sum is denoted by s and product and the difference is denoted by d then if you add them and take the difference and multiply divide by 4 you get the product. So let's apply this concept and uh, find the product of the two numbers in this case. I do it traditionally also for your convenience. See this is the traditional approach. So traditional approach the sum of the two numbers is 34 and the difference is 8. So obviously you will be subtracting or adding them. So you will get 2x equal to 34 plus 8 which is 42. So x is 21. You substitute the value of x here that means 21 plus y equal to 34 so y comes out to be 34 minus 21 that is 13 and thereby giving you the product 21 into 13 which is you can just multiply and find the result 13 was the 13 3 1 carry and 27 273 is the answer now this is the traditional and uh, i think you will be consuming 25 to 30 seconds time now see the short trick Find the product directly, sum plus difference, so sum is 34 and difference is 8. So sum plus difference is 34 plus 8, 42. Sum minus difference, 34 minus 8 is 26 and divided by 4. Now see, 4 can uh, 2 times and uh, 21 times and 2 1 times and 13 times. So here we are 21 into 13. This step is obtained directly here, thereby giving you the answer 273. Now see the application of short trick and see the traditional approach. Obviously, lot of difference in time consumption there. Let's reciprocate the problem now. And in this case, second case, we are given the product of the numbers as P and difference as D and we need to find the sum. Likewise, I have taken one more example here. See, if the product is 77 
and difference is 4 then find the sum so I have not written the question in uh, elaborate form it is uh, just the compact form of the question as you all know that we are talking of natural numbers so if the product is 77 see uh, what do you do in this case the traditional approach so I'll uh, solve it using the traditional approach also but uh, you will see how much time this will take see product is 77 means x y is 77 and difference means x minus y is 4 now how do you solve this you have to solve this using elimination from this you get x equal to y plus 4 and just substitute it here so y plus 4 into y is equal to 77 which gives you quadratic equation y square plus 4y minus 77 equal to 0 which you need to factorize and then get to two values of y one of them will be rejected and the other one will be substituted here in the uh, this variable to get the value of x and then you have to find the sum see a quadratic equation involved here and obviously solving quadratic equation can be a little messy because all the students are not you know comfortably uh, comfortable in splitting the middle term easily so this is the traditional approach and still this is not complete uh, only half of the question is complete now so let's see the shortcut so i don't want to spend much time on the traditional approach here because the short trick is very very easy i need to find the sum see here the, this is the direct formula for finding the sum sum is square root of difference square what is the difference 4 so 4 square is 16 plus 4 times the product product is 77 so 4 times 77 so this will give you square root of 16 plus 280 plus 28 308 so this is square root of 8 plus 16 is 24 324 and if you know what is the square root of 324 it is 18 so here you have the sum of the two numbers is 18 a beauty of this method the short trick is that you don't have to find the numbers x and y you can find the product product directly and then the sum directly and i will show you here the difference can also be found out directly without finding the two numbers now that is the beauty of the math, um, mathematical short tricks which i have been telling you in the channel now the third case what is the third case in this case the product is given as p and the sum is given and we need to find the difference now again a short trick for finding the difference under root sum square minus 4 times the product here the question is given see here we are given that the product of two numbers is 544 and their sum is 49 so we need to find the difference now how do you do that if you use the traditional approach here also you will see that the process will consume a lot of time see the product x y is 544 a large number and the sum x plus y is 49 so again you will use elimination method here so y will come out to be 49 minus x so if you substitute it here then x into 49 minus x will give you 544 thereby giving you a large quadratic equation this is minus x square so it goes the outside x square plus 49x goes the outside minus 49x and plus 544 equal to 0. Now see the quadratic equation we have obtained and believe it or not friends 8 out of 10 students they do it this way only and they struggle to save time in competitions just because you know splitting the middle term of such large quadratic equations is impractical when it comes to competitive exams and quantitative aptitude portion so it is just one fourth of the solution now you have to split the middle term find two values of x and uh, you have to reject one if it is negative and the second one will be the correct value of x then put that value of x here to get the value of y and then find the difference so it will consume another five six lines for the question to get sorted. Now, likewise here, two factors and then getting to the answer. Now, how do you do it using the short trick? So, I have already written the short trick here for your convenience. In the question, product is 544 and sum is 49. So, what is the difference? Difference can be found out directly under root of 
sum square minus 4 times product. Sum is 49, so 49 square minus 4 times product. Product is 544. So 49 square that can be done orally using Vedic maths. I'm sure a lot of you must be now aware of these Vedic maths tricks. But up to 50, the square should be known to you if you are preparing for competitions. So 2401 is the square of 49. And if you multiply this for for the 16, 6, 1, 17, 7, 1 and 21. So this will give you square root of. So 2000 is same. So 401 minus 176. You can subtract 400 and 176. That will give you 224 and 1225. So what is the square root of 225? You already know the square root of 225 is 15. So here you have the difference as 15. See, we have not find out, found out the two numbers and before finding the two numbers only, we have found out that the difference of those two numbers is 15. So in all the three cases, the short trick works out wonder because it is just a one or two step uh, method for finding the numbers orally and mentally and uh, even if you write it, you will spare only 5 to 10 seconds time and that's what we want right in competitions you want to save a lot of time and uh, solve all these questions uh, quite easily so friends these are the tricks you need to master practice them by taking 20 30 examples at a stretch i'm sure these uh, all short tricks you know you will be well acquainted with them and you will be comfortable in using them in exams so if you like this video do share it with all your friends who are preparing for competitions and i keep on telling you Kindly subscribe the channel and along the subscribe button alongside you find the bell shaped icon. Please click on that. You will get all the notifications of my video uploads which are very very beneficial for competitions. Thanks for watching this video friends.